In this video, we will show you how to do a small lot fermentation or bucket ferment to assess the potential for smoke tank characters in your wine. There's a fact sheet on the AWRI website that has all the details. Please check it out before starting your own bucket ferment. Well, why do we need to do a bucket ferment? Smoke compounds are not necessarily perceived by tasting grapes, but they are released during ferment, making it possible to assess the smoke potential of the grapes through a quick ferment. The overall bucket ferment process takes about a week, with most of the work needed on the first day. Before you start, make up all the required solutions as listed in the fact sheet. You will need to collect a representative sample of grapes from the vineyard you wish to assess. Strip the berries off the bunches until you have about 5 kilograms of berries in a clean container or bucket. The bucket should ideally have a loose fitting lid to prevent contaminants from entering while also allowing ferment gas to escape. A chucks cloth will also work. When choosing a container, keep in mind that some room is needed for plunging and mixing, but headspace should be kept to a minimum. Crush the grapes in a bucket using something like a potato masher. The AWRI recommends conducting all small lot smoke ferments on skins, regardless of whether the grapes are red or white. This provides maximum extraction of any smoke compounds, giving the best indication of smoke tank potential in the grapes. Add the sulfur dioxide, pectinase and depth solutions using a pipette or a plastic syringe like these available from a chemist to measure the required volumes. Don't mix the sulfur dioxide and enzyme solutions together. Add separately, then plunge or mix well between the different additions. You can also dilute the solutions further with water to around 25 milliliters prior to addition. This will ensure an even better dispersal throughout the must. Test the pH of the must with a pH meter if available. Underripe grapes might need a pH adjustment using potassium bicarbonate. High pH grapes might need some tartaric acid to bring the pH to around 3.4. To prepare the yeast for the ferment, warm about 50 milliliters of deionized water to around 38 degrees Celsius using either a kettle or a microwave. Add the sugar, mix to dissolve, and then weigh out the yeast and sprinkle onto the water. Leave this for 10 minutes to allow the yeast to rehydrate. Stir the yeast, then add 50 ml of must to the yeast and leave for another 10 minutes. Make sure the crushed grapes and the yeast culture are both around room temperature before pouring the culture over the grapes. Mark this day as day zero of your ferment. The ferment needs to be mixed or plunged three to four times a day using a potato masher or wooden spoon. Make sure the cap is broken up and submerged to minimize spoilage risks. On day two, add more DAP solution and plunge to mix thoroughly. While plunging, smell the ferment for any hydrogen sulfide aroma, like rotten eggs or sewage, and add DAP again if the aroma is observed. On day five, test the liquid for residual sugar to check if the ferment has finished. AIMTAB or Clinitest are available from brewing shops. If the sugar test reads two grams per litre of sugar or less, proceed to drain and press. If the test shows a higher result, leave the ferment for an extra day. Recheck the sugar and repeat if necessary, but regardless of the outcome, press the ferment by day seven. To press off the ferment, weigh an empty container that can hold around three litres. If you don't have a wine press, then drain the ferment through a sieve into the container. Press the solids against the sieve and then re-weigh the container to determine the wine volume. Assuming here that one kilo equals one litre, which is then used to calculate the final additions. Make the final addition of sulfur dioxide and make sure to add copper sulfate slowly and dropwise. Then seal the container and allow the solids in the wine to settle out in a refrigerator or cool room. This takes about 48 hours. Using a siphon, rack the clear wine from the container into a 750 or 375 ml bottle and seal with a screw cap. Make sure to fill the bottle to around two centimetres from the top of the bottle to avoid potential oxidation. The wine is now ready for a sensory assessment for the presence of any smoke characters.